Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data hadoop, cloud computing, virtual reality, etc. This is the continuation of our uh, multiple linear regression uh, uh, series and in this video I am going to explain the code related to loading our data set in order to use it for model training purpose, creating feature matrix, uh, dependent variable vectors as well as how to perform one hot encoding on categorical variables in order to create dummy variables. Please note that link to any code specific instructions or the actual code is provided at the end of the video generally or in the description section of the video. So stay connected till the end of this video and the series to acquire the complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. In the previous video, we learned about how to develop a simple linear regression model using both scikit-learn as well as sparkmllib. We also learned about a uh, data set uh, and uh, you know the problem statement associated with a multiple linear regression in just the previous video only. In simple linear regression uh, model we had only one dependent variable and one independent variable but in multiple linear regression uh, model we will uh, you know have uh, several independent variables. I am using Python's uh, scikit-learn package to develop our model. So let's get started to see how I developed this multiple linear regression model using scikit-learn. So let me open my Jupyter uh, notebook uh, real quick where I have uh, you know the, this, uh, the complete code uh, or the complete Python code related to this model. But before moving forward, uh, just wanted to tell you that I uploaded my data set uh, using which uh, which was uh, you know a restaurant profit uh, data set using uh, this particular upload button here on Jupyter home page okay so I clicked on it and uploaded the data set uh, using this button upload button on the top right corner of the Jupyter notebook home page now let's go to our Jupyter notebook where uh, we have the code of uh, multiple linear regression model so in the first cell, I'm uh, first importing uh, the important libraries like NumPy, Pandas, etc. And in the next cell, uh, I'm just reading our uh, restaurant profit uh, data dot CSV file. All right, and then printing uh, some of the few rows, uh, the first few rows of this data set. So I have already explained this data set in the previous video. So if you want to get the details around it, then click on the I button above. So in the next cell, I am using a shape method uh, to basically display the number of columns and observations, right? So when I did data dot shape, it uh, resulted or gave a result as 50 comma 5, which means that there are 50 observations in this data set. And there are five columns which are shown here as well. The columns are miscellaneous expenses, food innovation spend, advertising, city where this uh, restaurant is located and the profit it is making on the yearly basis. So here profit is a dependent variable which we want to predict on the basis of other independent variables like miscellaneous expenses, food innovation spend, advertising as well as city. So we are kind of establishing a linear relationship between dependent variable and all of the independent variables. In the next cell, which is this particular cell, I am creating a matrix of features and dependent variable vector, right? So I am creating a feature matrix X here. This is my feature matrix uh, by actually excluding the last column, which is profit column, okay? And this feature matrix will uh, contain features like miscellaneous expenses, uh, food innovation spend, advertising and city. Here I am using index value minus 1 okay, to uh, exclude uh, the last variable all right, which is profit uh, column. Okay. 
Now y is a dependent variable vector here as you can see I am uh, defining this variable uh, dependent variable vector here which contains the single column called profit. Here I am using the index value 4 to contain that dependent variable vector which is this index value 4. So as you can see uh, we know that uh, in python the index starts from 0 okay. So this is the zeroth column, this is the first column, this is the second column, this is third column and this is the fourth column. And that is why in order to get that fourth column value or the dependent vector I have mentioned 4 here. So in a nutshell x is a matrix of independent variable here and y is a dependent variable vector. When I ran this cell uh, both of our feature matrix and variable vector got generated. So in the next cell I am displaying the value of uh, feature matrix x and you can see that uh, you know it contains the features like miscellaneous expenses which is this. Uh, then we have food innovation uh, spent, then we have advertising and then lastly we have city. Next uh, in the next cell I am displaying the value of the dependent variable uh, vector y and you can see that it contains a value of profit okay so these are profit values so now let's come back to the feature metric x okay and we can see that uh, one of the column we have in this feature matrix is categorical in nature which is this city column okay and we can uh, we can see that uh, you know we have different categories like chicago mumbai Tokyo. So basically there are three categories and uh, the, uh, three categories of city and therefore it is considered as a categorical variable. And from the previous videos we know that we can't include these text based categorical variables in our model as it might cause some issues later on. Okay. So we need to perform a one hot encoding to uh, encode these text values into numbers. So if you want to get more details on one hot encoding then you can click on the i button above. So in the next cell let me scroll down a bit. So here in the next cell I am importing classes uh, like label encoder here and one hot encoder from sklearn.preprocessing. Next I am creating an object of label encoder here. Uh, and gave a name of this object as LBL encoder. So lab label encoder is being used here to encode the city column values into numbers. Then I'm using fit transform method on this uh, object, the label encoder object to encode the city column uh, which is depicted by index value 3. Okay, so the index value of this column is 3 0 1 2 3 okay so that's why I have mentioned 3 here then I'm creating a, a one hot encoder object called one hot encoder here okay and I'm passing the categorical feature parameter as index value 3 here okay which is nothing but a city column only and since we want to remove the relational order like 0, 1, 2 or a relational order like high, medium, low for categorical value, hence we are using one hot encoder here to create the dummy variables. One thing to keep in mind here is that we can't apply one hot encoding directly on the text values because these values need to be in numeric form if we want to apply one hot encoding here. This is the whole reason we are actually encoding the text values into numeric values first using LBL or label encoder and I am applying a fit transform method here on one hot encoder object first to create dummy variables and then converting the features into array. Moving on, uh, so let me scroll down uh, in the next cell. I am converting the type of values inside the array from float to int uh, you know just for the sake of showing you uh, the values clearly because float values were not clearly uh, visible and uh, those were kind of haphazard so that's why I have uh, uh, you know just for the representation perspective I 
change the uh, type from flow to int. So you can see that first three column values are one hot encoded values of CD column and uh, remaining three uh, uh, columns uh, column values are miscellaneous expenses, food innovation spent and advertising here. And you can also observe that city column is uh, uh, completely uh, removed from this data set and the categorical values of city column are converted into one hot encoded values that is city column is replaced by three columns which are the dummy variables where each column represents one city. So let's pick first row of the data set where the miscellaneous expense value was uh, 138,671 and food spent value was uh, 167,497 uh, as well as the advertising value was 475 and 918. Uh, 475,918. So this is the particular record, right? And you can see that this value, the city value is Chicago here. And hence the value is one for Chicago. That means this first column represents Chicago. Second column represents Mumbai and third column represents Tokyo. So wherever there is a Chicago value, uh, the value will be one here. Okay. So you can see that we have Chicago for first record and fourth record as well as for the sixth record. So we have one for first record, fourth record and sixth record. And the corresponding values are zero for Mumbai and Tokyo. Right. As we can see for the second row, and the seventh row, the record says it's a Mumbai city, right? So this, the second record and seventh record has Mumbai as a city here. So let's check corresponding value. So you can see that second value and the seventh value is one here and rest two values are zero. Correct. So that means this column represents Mumbai. This is Chicago, this is Mumbai and this is Tokyo. Okay. So that's how these dummy variables are created here. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to explain the dummy variable trap, uh, which is pretty much required in, in order to, uh, in order for your uh, model to perform better. Okay. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained uh, the code related to uh, loading our data set, creating feature matrix dependent variable vector as well as how to perform a one hot encoding on categorical variables. So let me ask you a question from today's video. Why are we using label encoder before one hot encoder in order to create dummy variables? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, then consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.